Happy morning, dear friends. Here's yours, Dr. Ajanta. Welcome to Demystify with Ajay. Dear friends, in the previous session, we have taken an example of data frame where already it's a simple and tidy and it did not require a whole series of preliminary operations before starting work on them. That is the pre-processing functionality. But real world data set, that is those that are obtained from acquisition on external data sources are often not so tidy and much less ordered. So this means spending a significant amount of time on a whole series of operations that allow us to prepare our data for analysis. Dear friend, actually, what is this tidy, tidy data? See, actually, it has a three basic principle it should have. So one is, yeah, each row is an observation, each column is a variable, and next, each type of observation unit is a table. So any table that does not meet these three principles can be considered messy data. So, okay, to understand intuitively, yeah, what a variable really is, yeah, you will first have to understand the difference between the variable name and the value of the variable. So the names of the variable will be the labels of the columns and while the value will be those measures or characteristic defector for each observation, that is row of the table. So which will populate the values of a column. Okay, now let me just define a data frame. Kindly just observe. Here we are having a data frame data. So can, uh, here it is the exact data. And with the columns are pens, notebooks and USB sticks. And we are considering towards the index. It is all about the sales, help desk, human resource and stores. So if we want to execute and have this, yeah, kindly observe. So this is the data frame appears simple and intuitive. But in the definition, which we just say mystery data, it is not so because both the labels of the column and of the rows are values of the variables and not names of the variables. Okay, now what we are just going to do. Yeah, therefore, some operations on our data, uh, that is data frame, will be necessary to make sure that the column's name will be transposed to become the values of a single column and the same thing for the row indexes. Okay, so now let me just make it in two types of functionality. See, actually there are a number of functions widely used to uh, perform this kind of transformation uh, in order to obtain a tidy table at the end. So here, which it is one among the thing is stack and next one is melt. So they all are already, uh, they are useful for converting column names, that is the horizontally uh, to value of a vertical column. So that is that they convert variables into values. So uh, there are also complementary method that performs the reverse operations as like unstack and pivot. Okay, so yeah, let me just see one by one. First of all, let me just have an example on a stack method. Okay, back to our uh, example data frame. So we can then apply a stack method here. So kindly observe what we are just going to have it. So observe dear friends, we can see we got a multi-index series. Multi-index series. So we therefore have the values of the variable all vertically distributed. Only they are still indexes. So we must therefore convert them into the values of the column and to do this, yeah, we can use the uh, reset index. Okay, so kindly how we are just going to make use of that by using the reset index method and once I execute it, so see here what we just get. Okay, so we just have to give the right labels to the column that are nothing more than the names of the variables. So let me just give the column for this. So here we have level 0, level 1 and to the top 0. Yeah, we are just going to give the labels. So here we are with the labels. So here kindly just to see. So department, gadgets and amount. Now let me just to see what is it. So here we have so as we can see with a few operation, we have obtained a tidy data frame. 
Okay, now let me just apply it on to the uh, exact uh, thing in the same thing by using melt method. Okay, so we can also obtain the same result with a melt method and yeah, of course we want to make with the reset index. Uh, here we are just going with the rename column and let me apply on to that of melt. And dear friends, when on just making on to the melt data, so kindly observe what we have here. Yeah, the same result. Okay, by using this, the same result as in the previous example. Also in this case, it is obtained as a tidy data frame. Dear friends, often it happens to find tables in which the column labels have ranges of possible values of a given variable. This way of distributing data which we just specify it as a wide data. And for an example, we will import a data set contained uh, like that. Yeah, let me, uh, I just want to explain you what is there, these things in the melter, uh, the parameters. Yeah, just let me. Uh, I want to include one more data set and I just explained it. So kindly have a note of it dear friends. Uh, this exact data uh, set that contained uh, which is here in country salary. See to convert it into a long and tidy data frame. We will have to do a series of operations. That is uh, we have to unpivot, melt and then gather. And here pandas has a melt functions that allows reshaping a data frame into a tidy frame. So it accepts some uh, parameters. One is id vas. Actually it is a container okay which it just has as like list or tuple or uh, nd array. So n dimensional array in which the variable that remains such as inserted. And next here we are just going to have that very name actually it is a, a one string for a new column where value vars are melted down so by default it is called the variable okay and next it is the value name actually it is also a string from uh, for the name of a new column representing this where name okay so by default it is a value and of course we have one more variable which is one more parameter that is value vars which identifies the column you want to unpivot. So by default they are those not considered in this id vars. Okay so now let me just perform the melting of the data frame with the melt method. So let me just do it. So in this case kindly just observe how how tidy it is it is like a structured one so we have obtained a tidy data frame by applying a simple operations not at all much more the thing just by using a method of melt and previously we have just used the stack and dear friends actually this tidy data frame should have a single column for each single variables as a rule specified so in this case, yeah, we can load as an example. So the data contained uh, as like one more data, which I just want to make it is this measures. Okay. And uh, for your information, actually, when I'm just uh, importing this uh, measures data, I have encountered some uh, uh, Unicode uh, uh, error. Okay. So for that, I have just made use of this type of importing by using the chart deck. Okay, and yeah, I have converted this by using this encoding, identifying the encoding method and then uh, obtained this exact uh, uh, functionality. So this is what our data frame, which we just have it in our uh, measures. Okay, so measures daughter. And also in this case, we have some characters that deviate this data frame from the concept of tidy. So first it would be better if the data frame was ordered differently. Okay. So for example, if we have multiple values of a different nature specified under the same sensor number. So furthermore, the measure column clearly contains variables. Center recursively repeats the same values specifying the same three types of measure. Okay. That you all, all already it is known to that. 
okay so it in reality the first thing to do is to short out the value based on the true indices and then perform some value to index so index conversion so this can be done with the uh, set index functionality so let me just make use of that in this set index functionality okay so let me just apply this and now kindly just to see here dear friends so now let's carry out the unstacking operations before that kindly just observe how this multi indexing formation happens so this is the exact transformation of data frame and yeah now let's carry out the unstacking operations creating a row for each type of sensor a new column for each type of measurement so to do this yeah we are just going to use the unstack measure unstack method okay and apply it on to the measure column so let me just do it okay what we get in the data frame kindly just up, uh, observe it dear friends so here we got the second transformation of our data frame by using this uh, measure uh, sensor and here we have the temperature and xy and kindly just to see how this happens in this uh, towards the previous as like here it is sensor measures and towards the value here okay yeah now what is the next one yeah furthermore we need to apply a further transformation to our data frame so we consider the labels of the sensor index to the variable values we can then convert the labels back to column values through the re, uh, uh, that is reset index okay so let me just apply the reset index method here and what we are just going to see yeah here we just get the data that is finally transformed the initial data frame from the messy data frame here we get the structured data so here it is what we finally got the transformed data okay sometimes dear friend actually a column in a data set can contain the values of multiple variables this features also moves our data frame away from this tidy concept that is the structured concept so in this case you need to perform a value separation operation using string method which we just specify as like split okay so let me just use one among the exact data here that is focus hand okay so here we are just going to do is yeah in this file there are some cards present in the different poker hands okay so there are five columns each corresponds to a card as values we have the value of the card that stands from that is q for q in uh, j for jack a for a and then a single character indicating the sign as uh, h stands for hearts uh, d stands for diamond s for spades and c for the clubs so the data is represented in the imported data frame so kindly have a look how this happens so in this case too we find ourselves in a messy data frame to be processed to make it tidy so in this case it will only be necessary to separate the card values from the signs so there are simply string manipulation that we have discussed already i just share the link in the description and yeah dear friends we have to separate the sign from the value from the columns corresponding to the first card so here yeah let me just take the first card alone okay and we just do it how this happens and yeah what we just get kindly just observe dear friend so we are having the first v and first s the value and to the top data so yeah we will get the exact changes so the first changes applied to the data frame applied from this data set is yeah it's superb really amazing so yeah dear friends we make the same changes to all the other columns that is the four cards as towards the same thing so let me just make it towards the second third and fourth v 
and here we are just going to have so what we have kindly observe so we get a tidy data frame yeah dear friends okay now let me just another case that you can run into when importing external data is a particular way in which data is reported as external data source the data is collected in ranges of values that is divided into column so to better understand this mode yeah let me just have an example that contained the country salary okay i just have use of this data set so kindly have a note of it dear friend and also in this case we find ourselves with a messy data frame that is see kindly see what is the exact thing in the column so what it just specified in the column so of course to overcome this problem you can be to change the structure of the data frame by applying a melting with the melt method okay so yeah to the melting method what we are just going to apply kindly just see here we are just going to use the id vars as only the thing country and to the top sex and here we need to have a changes of variable name that is salary ranges and here related to the top employees okay so with this operation we will transform the data frame structure how it is just going to be see here of course kindly just observe wow so here as as we can see from the result the ranges of value that were previously column labels have been transformed into the values and inserted all with the same salary range kindly just to see salary range column the other related values are sorted accordingly now a further operation is carried out which will modify the structure bringing it to it back from the long to wide so to do this we are just going to use one of the functionality which is pivot okay so it is exactly a pivot table and yeah exactly towards this function it is by grouping all the values by the here kindly so this is the exact index by the country and dividing the values again on the different column so once on making this operation the data frame is transferred into the structure kindly just observe how it happens wow so see here dear friends this is what the pivot table after this transformation we returned with a structure similar to the one we started with but in reality we now have a tidy data frame in fact now there is a row for each country and the data frame contains only numerical values all comparable to each other while the subdivision of the sex within each range have been converted into the second level index on the column so yeah dear friends hope uh, uh, this uh, this exact video would uh, be helpful in gaining a solid foundation in using pandas for data analysis and yeah dear friends kindly have a note of it in this session you will uh, you will have been uh, understand uh, of course we have done with the fundamental techniques and the concepts to correctly set up a data frame cleaning up both redundant values grouping or separating values in the column furthermore we have understood uh, the exact structure of a newly imported data frame that responds correctly to the particular requirement and of course we all uh, also discussed and yeah we would be able to order its internal structure and the values connected to it so kindly dear friends remember to practice what you have learned and explored further to deepen your understanding i have given the exact code and to the data set in the description don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel for latest updates yeah here dear friends we have done with the data pre processing we would see you in the next session related to data visualization thank you dear friends happy learning